today we're going to Bohol and that's right it is famous for you guessed it diving so let's dive right into the video let's go <laughs> Bohol is, of course, is a fantastic place. If you ever get to Cebu, you have to take the ferry ride in there and check out all of its amazing food. The bee farm, the tarsiers, the sky, the zip lining, the nature, the list goes on. If you haven't also, make sure you go check out my video on a more comprehensive look into what Bohol is. But today's video is about, of course, diving. Okay, so near the resort that we stayed in, we found this amazing dive center. The place had a really nice get-up, wonderful equipment, and really, really good people who took us around for many dives near Pang Lao. The visibility in Pang Lao was amazing. One of the highest visibility I've ever seen in my diving career. And of course, the service from this dive center was fantastic. You get driven to where the boat is. The boat ride is extremely short, and you get to the dive site pretty quickly. And that's the time that we used to meet other divers and get to know them, and we actually made a lot of friends during this trip. Pang Lao, which is a major island accessible off Bohol, is a fantastic island for diving because of its very famous reef wall. There you will see a massive school of fish and the fish are very, very colorful. We don't actually go in very deep either. And even though I'm an advanced diver, I don't really prefer going in so deep. Not because I don't really like the feeling of diving deeper. I do enjoy the feeling, but I genuinely believe most of the beautiful things you can see, 99% of them reside in the first 10 meters from the surface of the water. From there, you're gonna get a really nice shot and view of the wildlife there because it's gonna receive direct sunlight. Where the colors are gonna to reflect to show you a very, very vibrant life. We were able to find lots and lots of turtles, which Bohol is very famous for. And the good thing about these turtles is that you can get near them and it actually doesn't run away. So you can actually take a pretty good look at them. The dive itself is extremely comfortable, the water temperature isn't cold, the current is very low and that's probably because of the reef wall that is there. A very relaxing dive with lots of animals to see and even for a mediocre diver like myself, it was very easy for me to, to clock in 55 to 60 minutes under the water. Another thing that Bohol is very famous for is this wide suit of clownfish. They are literally every second meter under that water. And as a big fan of Nemo myself, I had a lot of fun taking pictures and videos of them. The dive instructor and the dive master team is very, very well versed in what is available to be seen underwater. So they will not miss out on any wildlife for you to witness. So needless to say, they were extremely professional and they were a must when we went diving underwater in Bohol. Other than the turtles, the Nemo, and a whole bunch of wildlife that you can see underwater in Bohol, 
Another very, very famous attraction is, of course, it's whale sharks. Now, this time, we actually went to a whale shark viewing beach. But if we were to stay in Boho a bit longer, we would have been able to witness whale shark in its wild form, which is what I prefer to do. But since there was whale sharks available, I did take the time to go and see the whale shark while I went snorkeling. And yes, it is one of those whale shark watching areas where they feed the whale shark much like they do in Oslo. It is extremely exciting and there is an almost 100% guaranteed chance that you will be able to see these whale sharks. And it is an amazingly fun place to be because these whale sharks, they're so friendly. You are supposed to keep a six meter distance away from them, but they keep coming up to you and for only because I think they're not really afraid of us and there's always food coming out. But the guides and the people that took us out there to see these whale sharks, they actually took the videos and the photos for us. They were extremely helpful. They were extremely fun to be around. I understand that this is not a natural way of doing things, but it does allow people who are not so comfortable with water or who might not have the diving license to be able to witness these magnificent creatures. So then there is awareness brought to the existence of these animals. Now, when I was snorkeling to be with these whale sharks, I did see a lot of scuba divers deeper under the water who were able to get a better look of these whale sharks. But if I was given this opportunity again, I'll probably prefer to try to see these whale sharks in the wild. And also because it won't be so crowded as you see in this video. And another place that we came across, they seem to be doing a project where they're studying the growth of corals. And they actually created these posts where the corals can latch on and grow more richly. And I thought that was a fantastic initiative because the corals is what gives life and habitat to these wildlife. So that was really encouraging to see that they actually put out some endeavor to actually grow the wildlife in that region too. And of course, another highlight for Bohol and Pangla diving is the shipwreck dive. There is one just off the coast and it's about 30 meters deep. So yes, you will need to be advanced divers to go check out this shipwreck. Now, when you go there, there is a lot of lionfish. There's also frogfish and there's also these schools of fish that actually circle around the boat as well. The experience around the boat itself is kind of eerie because there is actually a lot of shapes and objects that you can see that seems like it could almost be usable. I mean, of course it's not usable, but it is right there. You can visualize what it actually is, which is quite crazy about, I guess, every shipwreck dive. But this was extremely special in that this boat wasn't like an old looking boat, but it was a reasonably modern boat that had capsized and it is now underwater with all this wildlife growing into it. And the visibility at 30 meters depth, I think, is is still very, very good.
as you swim away from the wreckage there we were able to see some very very interesting creatures as well as some seahorses that was another attraction that we really wanted to capture and of course we were lucky enough to capture them Now going back to scuba diving, when you're in Boho, you must try the night dives. At night time, there was seemingly more wildlife that seems to come out. And I don't know if it's because I'm closer to the reef wall itself. I genuinely thought that there was even slightly better visibility. There is lionfish everywhere. We also did see a turtle at nighttime as well, which is very, very interesting. And during the nighttime, try to spot these sponge crabs because I think they're absolutely fantastic. They crawl around on the ocean floor and you almost wouldn't think that it's a crab until it actually starts to move. So that's what you're looking at right now. Okay, the snake that you're seeing right now is an extremely venomous snake. And of course, this is a very venomous sea snake. We dove very, very close to it just to get this shot. So please like, share and subscribe for that. But it's movement, it's just so graceful and very, very interesting. I'm just glad it didn't bite me and I didn't die. And once again, the guys did a fantastic job pointing out at all the beautiful wildlife that we could see underwater in the night sea of Panglao. And so needless to say, diving in Bohol is a must. If you are a diver, why wouldn't you go to Bohol? It is a very economical way to witness and experience a wide range of dive sites. And of course, during the dives, you're gonna meet so many people from all over the world. The accommodation as well as the service and the diving experience is literally second to none. It is a very convenient and a relaxing way to experience diving. So if you are a diver, you must check out the experience that you can have in Bohol. There's a link in the description below so that you can go and experience exactly what I did in Bohol so that you too can enjoy the dive sites that I dove in. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you haven't done so, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Till next time. Peace.